Good evening, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy festive season. Um, today I was supposed to make a video interviewing someone, uh, Nzako, on 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 mental illness, but we tried Zoom. We tried um the other one. I forgot what Microsoft Teams. We tried everything. We just failed. It was it was spent two hours trying to, because we were supposed to meet physically, but because of COVID and everything, we were not willing to really risk it. And she is somebody who so who had who suffered from mental um, illness, and she's also in the medical industry. But I thought, you know what? Let me just give my two cents, um, inputs on 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 mental health, and not just leave the. The, the 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 slot as I had in mind, even though I'm still gonna interview her. Um, I think mental illness is one thing that we are ignorant of, or we take it for granted. Um, where else mental illness it needs all the the attention that it deserves, like any other diseases, it needs to be given attention. And medical practitioner also need to, I believe, they need to be trained on how to spot when they, they treat a patient. They treat a patient holistically, physically, and mentally also. And they don't have to wait for a patient to, to really relapse or to really have a breakdown for them to say that something is, there's more to this illness. Uh, than just physical, then they involve the, the psychologist. Um, because why am I saying that? I know that this is, this is just my opinion, that mental illness has always been there. But the problem that is that when it comes to mental illness, we always put a picture of that man or woman from the villages who was dating, who will be smelling, who will be walking around, talking this and that, whatever who will be entering people's homes so we never think that somebody can have mental illness and still be functioning i can be sitting here speaking to you and suffering from mental illness it's something that also yourself you need to be conscious of you need to know your body you need to know what triggers you you know even sometimes when you 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 get angry ask yourself the way you get angry is it normal the way you overreact is it normal and also do research do research in your family on the history of mental illness and find out because most times i'm not saying all the time you find that diseases they run in the family so you need to ask yourself as a woman when you are having your pms and all that when you're going on your periods are you as much as we we they, they seem to like, we seem to lose it at the time, we're emotional and everything. But you need to ask yourself the way you, you, you are at that time, the way you, you react to things, the way you are agitated, is it normal now? We, we, we need to define what is normal. And everybody knows what is normal and what is abnormal. We need also, I do believe that when it comes to mental illness, the, the preachers, they need to they need to be equipped and and trained to have the skills to to help people in the church for counseling proper counseling because some some mental illness or mental condition it doesn't need just counseling it also need intervention of of medication which a person may, might have to take for the rest of their life or for a certain period so i do also believe that the religious houses, they need to look at, are they equipped, are they empowered to be able to help the congregates with the mental issues and be able to counsel them and recommend further help if there is. Yes, because sometimes people think when you are religious or I will speak about Christianity because that's what I, what I know. People will think, why is the person depressed? Why can't they get over it? Sometimes some kind of depression is a matter of the situation being resolved. It's a matter of the situation to find the solution. But sometimes it's the imbalance in the brain. 
there's an imbalance in the brain which needs that brain needs an assistance with also with counseling and also with medication also with exercises now we have an issue of of of, of kororo that all of us are anxious I'm, I, I must not say all of us but most people are anxious most people have fear and fear it builds up into something else but the time you have you you are infected or you hear somebody is infected you lose it you start to your mind go to victoria lake deep in the victoria lake it start to go up in the in the in the kilimanjaro mountain where else we need to teach ourselves to become because when we are anxious and we have fear and we we get more depressed and it doesn't help the body because the brain is the engine of this body the brain the brain is the engine of this body if you are physically fit but your mind here yeah, you have not trained yourself remember i'm saying there's a kind of that different kind of depression with some are affected by circumstances and some is because of an imbalance in the brain which needs to be assisted assisted by medication and for a certain period of time let's not forget to live let's not forget with this COVID, which is here let's not concentrate so much on on kororo let us take precautions but let us not forget to live let us not forget to laugh let us not forget to to be happy let us not forget to be grateful so you also need to know wh wh what are your triggers what are your triggers you get you need to know what are your triggers that gets you out of spiral so some people you find that they have a medical they have a mental illness they are aware of but some they take it oh this one is like this oh this one is like that no 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 you may find we we get used to somebody's character we get somebody to put somebody's personality we get somebody used to somebody's behavior where else there are deeper issues there are deeper issues and also this issue of not talking about issues we cover them under the carpet until that carpet is rotting and smelly we never address issues we never we are afraid of confrontation we are passive we must never ever be passive with our lives we are not here on earth we are not doing rehearsal there is no other life that is going to come this is our life and we need to teach ourselves to speak the truth speak our truth if you are not happy about something say it if you are not you are not understanding something say it i'm not saying fight but say i'm not I'm, i don't like this i don't know how you, i don't understand i don't like how you spoke to me or what you did and then you build resentment you build resentment you build and the day that you snap or even if you don't snap people are are not able to sleep now they've got different issues some the, the high blood pressure spikes up diabetes it gets affected by, by 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 stress cancer get affected more by stress hiv gets more affected by stress stress is the center of all the medical condition that we can have and remember there's a difference between stress and depression so sometimes you are stressed, you are not happy about something. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are depressed. And anxiety, people are taking medication for this and that. And it's not all the mental condition that needs uh, medication. Some, it needs us to train our mind, to train our thoughts, to train our behavior. So that to ask yourself, am I doing right? I, am, I, am I honoring myself by what I'm doing? Am I honoring... Uh, others by what i do am i honoring myself by being too anxious and you are so worried about tomorrow that you don't even know you are so worried about this and this and that where else you forget we still need to live so university those who are close to universities most of the universities they do have faculties where people can go in and they are psychologists for free go to clinics you find ask don't be ashamed speak to your doctor when you feel you're not okay speak to your doctor to say you know what i think there's more you are the doctor of your body as much as other people have gone to medical school but you know your body more
than the doctor. Get to know yourself. So when you go to the doctor, you are just guiding them on what is happening in your mind with your body and everything. Don't just go there, even if you are GP, you are just sitting, no, my back is painful. You just, you know, no, I've, you know that stress can also make you to have an earache. It will make you to have a backache. It will make you sometimes, some people not to sleep. Me, I don't sleep, but it's not because of stress. I fight it all by all means. You find that a person's got, you know, high blood pressure sparks. Memory also, memories get affected. The person start to be forgetful. So, beloved, you need to, as much, I'm not an expert on, 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 on medical condition. Like I said, I was supposed to, I tried to interview somebody who, who suffer from medical, uh, from, from mental illness. And also she's in, 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 in medical uh, environment. So it was going to be, but we'll, we'll try when she goes back to Cape Town and her network is better because where she is here at Lipompo, network is just misbehaving. We spend almost over an hour trying all channels to try but it was not working but all i'm saying is that exercise take walks do little things that makes you happy if it's cooking cook if it's running run if walking makes a huge difference go out on a walk play music get into your car if you have to or sit in the car and play your music but do things that makes you happy find hobby hobbies and all that Hobbies don't necessarily mean you have to be with people. You have to be surrounded with people. But what is more important is that guide your mind, guide your thoughts. And also when you know your triggers, avoid them. And if it happens, don't be shy to consult. Don't be shy. You know, stress can make all the body organs to collapse. Stress, depression. It can make your body organs to collapse. People die from stress and depression. And anxiety, it brings also head, heart conditions. You hear something and it's like, you start to count, uh-uh. Guys, it's, it's, you need to be conscious of, of who you are. You need to be conscious of your mind. You have to be conscious of the words that you use. You have to be conscious of the people you surround yourself with. Because your environment also plays a huge role on your mental um, state. So all I'm saying is that with this corona happening, yes, there's a lot of things happening. Financial retrenchment, death, left, right, and center. But remember, life is for the living. I'm not saying don't mourn your loved ones, but you who is left behind. You still need to live. You need. You still need to survive. You still need to have a healthy living. You still need to 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 thrive. So you have to decide. I know with depression, it's not something that you can snap out of it. It's not something that you can drink a cold drink and then you snap out of it because there are different kinds of mental illness. Like I said, there's anxiety, there's stress, there's a clinical depression. There's bipolar. There are different kinds. Some are triggered by life situations. And some, you it's just, just, it just in your gene. Or the imbalance in your hormones. So get to know yourself. Get to know your family history. Get to know what triggers, triggers you to. And remember, depression is not always a low. A person can also, it up and low. They differ. And some, they are, they are temporary. Like women, when they just had babies, sometimes they, I think it's called postnatal depression. You know, women, when they're going on a, their menstrual, sometimes their emotions are all over the place. Sometimes losing your loved ones and life happenings and trauma one has gone through, you find they end up developing depression that it has to be treated. Maybe it be, depends, can be counseling or medication or combination. And some, they just, it's a medical condition that is there that sometimes is genetical. So take care of yourself. And I'm hoping that we, this week I'll be able to, 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 to interview Nzako and hear her journey, hear also her medical op a, a, a opinion and experience. And then we hear from somebody who has gone through this journey and somebody 
who is in who in, in medical field i hope you are having a blessed 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 evening i know some of you are having loved ones who have passed away some of you are having loved ones who are in critical condition because also of korokoro some are not even coping because they've lost their loved ones but remember life is for the living and those who have got korokoro please remember that you need to be calm don't allow fear to paralyze you you need to be calm and adhere to those things if you are calm and you, you fight to survive you'll be okay but if you are overwhelmed by fear and what you start to calculate things will go wrong and those who are traveling from different provinces please keep safe there's traffic people are having accidents people are getting impatient and also when you move to different provinces don't forget to try to take care of yourself because the, the coronavirus statistics it is escalating by a day by minute and remember just love yourself a little bit more just a little bit more thank you